taped off. Uh, everything's prepped and ready for polish. I actually go around and I tape off some of the body panels, uh, just some of the gaps between the, the front here and the fender. The reason I do that is to prevent any dusting from getting into those deep cracks. I like to just, especially when I'm doing my deeper cutting, I like to do that. I'll do all the deeper cutting, I'll remove the tape, then I'll do my final polishing. It's like when you're doing a deeper cut, you tend to get a little bit more dusting and things like that from the polish and the pad that you're using, it's more aggressive. So um, I like to tape that off and get it all prepped so that I don't make any more of a mess than I need to. Additionally, I actually tape off the window as well. So again, we're gonna be doing a ceramic coating on this vehicle and you'll see once we actually get into that, but when you're applying a ceramic coating, you apply it with a microfiber applicator and then you buff it out using a microfiber towel. When you do that, you can actually, while you're trying just to remove that top layer and level it all out, you can actually cause the ceramic to transfer onto the window and then you'll get some kind of smudges and things like that that you don't want to have to deal with. You can remove it, but you don't want to have to deal with it. So I like to tape off that edge so that it just helps me um, be a little cleaner with the whole process and makes my life a little bit easier. Now, for this car, I'm gonna be using the least aggressive method that I can to get the desired result that I want. Um, that's always recommended. You don't wanna cut down into the clear coat a ton just to remove scratches that you could have done the same result with, gotten the same result with a lot less um, abrasive. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off, I'm just gonna test a small panel. Um, a lot of guys you'll see on YouTube or on Instagram or whatever, you'll see they'll put an actual tape line I don't like to do that. It, it gives a great dramatic result of, of the before and after. However, you are leveling out the clear coat. So if, if it's all here right now and on a micron level, you're lowering it down by correcting all of it. Um, you're creating a, kind of a hard edge where that is, which I don't think is necessary. I, I don't like to do that. So uh, I'm just gonna test out a spot. I'm gonna start off with a medium foam pad. And then if I need to, I'll go to a slightly more aggressive um, foam pad on top of that and uh, we'll see how it comes out. I'm thinking that the medium foam pad on a dual action just you know moving slowly should get the job done. So um, the pads that I'm going to be using for this job, something easy for you guys, something that you can get really easily is these Bauer pads from Harbor Freight. Now Harbor Freight actually also has a dual action polisher that you can use. I'm not using it. I've never used it. However, these pads whoop, um, actually work super, super well. I, I love them. So um, I'm gonna be starting off with that. I'm gonna be starting off with the, the medium finish, or sorry, medium foam cut pad and uh, testing it out and we'll go from there. Now for the compound and polish I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using 3D1. This stuff is great guys. So this actually kind of works with the pad. It's kind of an all in one compound and polish. If you need it to be super aggressive, you put it on a more aggressive pad, it does an amazing job. If you want to, do a really nice final uh, finish out polish, put it on a lighter pad and it finishes out really, really nice. So this is my go-to compound polish that I, that I use 90% of the time. Uh, check that stuff out, it works super well. I will have it linked down in the description for, uh, below for you guys. Okay guys, so I'm gonna test out this first little spot right here. I've got my microfiber towel handy to polish it out. Um, here we go. So first things first, you always make sure you put the cord behind over your shoulders so you're not scratching the car. All right guys, so I just did my fi uh, first pass with the medium cut pad, foam pad, and my uh, 3D1 polish, compound polish. This is the result I got. So as you can see, let me see if I can pick this up for you guys. Hazing and all that kind of stuff in the paint. And then we get into this, you can see the line there. That's just where I stopped and it goes completely clear, crystal clear, and good to go. So I'm very happy with that and the effects that it's getting. Um, so I'm just gonna continue with that polishing combo and we'll just go around the whole car now, get it all set. This does look like I'm gonna be able to do it all in one pass. Um, 
We'll see, actually, I'll, I'll come back across this probably just with a nice light finishing pad just to make sure it's perfect. And then we'll be good to go to move on to uh, the ceramic coat. But as you can see here again, guys, nice and clean. Let's see if we can transfer over here. And you see all the scratching and things like that in the paint. If you can see it right through here, right on that two by four, you can see it up top. So there's much stuff there. And then we transfer over to nice and clear. One of the main things while you're working and doing this polishing is you're, you're building up all the, think of it like skin, you're building up dead skin from the paint that you're pulling off of there. So you wanna make sure that you're blowing out your pad. With a compressed air or a brush, you can at least do something, but the compressed air is the best. Blow it out and get the pad kind of back to original and then you start again. All right, so I just blew up the pad. As you can see, it looks brand new again, nice and fresh, so we're gonna keep going. I've got the first coat of polishing done. Uh, that medium cut pad, uh, 3D one, went over the whole car, it's looking really good. I'm actually going to remove some, not all of the tape, I'm gonna remove most of the tape of the body lines. I'm gonna leave the stuff around the windows so that when I'm ceramic coating the car, I don't make any mess. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna remove all that stuff. Then I'm gonna go to a finishing pad with that same polish, go over it again, make sure it's all perfect and really pops, and then we'll, uh, do an ice purple alcohol wipe, or you can use panel wipe or whatever else. Uh, there's a bunch of good different companies that make prep products for ceramic. Um, I'm just gonna be using a 70% ice purple alcohol, I believe is what I use. It'll remove all the wax, the re residual polish, everything else from the paint, giving a perfect cure, clean surface for the ceramic to cure to. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started removing all this and going around the car with the finishing pad. Alright, we got the tape removed. I'm going on to the Bauer Ultra Fine Foam Polishing Pad. And just real quickly, so you guys can see the difference between what a heavier cutting pad is versus a finishing pad. If you look, I don't know if this is going to really pick it up, but it is really soft. The pores are really tight. Versus cutting pad, you can see all the pores in the in the pad. Um, so all that kind of stuff will help cut into the clear coat and get everything cleaned up. And it's also much stiffer. Versus this guy, it just kind of rebounds right back. Okay. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my ultra fine finishing pad. I'm gonna prime it the same way with that polish. Uh, one thing to mention is the microfibers that I was using, toss those out. Um, I'm gonna use those those will be washed and I'll use brand new microfibers for this process, for this step.
All right, guys, I am sweating. It's, I don't know, at least 90 degrees inside the shop right now, so it's pretty hot. But I've got the whole car polished. Uh, we'll go ahead and go ahead and show you guys the paint. You see the reflection's pretty much perfect. It's not 100%, there's a couple little spots, but um, overall it's a dramatic improvement. And this car is a driver. It's not gonna just be sitting in the garage. Um, so it looks absolutely fantastic. Come around the other side. So nice and glassy. And now I'm going to be going ahead and doing my isopropyl alcohol wipe, uh, getting it prepped for the ceramic, and then we'll go ahead and throw ceramic on. We'll do the first coat, and then we're gonna be doing G Technique Crystal Serum Light. We're gonna be doing one coat, letting that cure overnight. Tomorrow I'll come back, and I'll do two coats of EXO on top of that. <laughs>
All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and done my ceramic coating, done two coats of EXO. I didn't film it because it's basically the same exact process, just rubbing it on, wiping it off. Um, gets a little bit boring. So um, all that's done, we're gonna go ahead and remove the tape. Um, I'll continue to let it cure for the rest of the day. Uh, come back, do an interior vacuum, windows, uh, button up the, the tires. I did apply the ceramic also on the wheels, so we'll be good to go there. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and get this thing prepped, remove the tape, and then just do our final wipes uh, later today. Thank you. 